It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. Oh my gosh, we got so much to talk about today. I'm so excited. We're going to talk about fragrance. I got out my fragrance wheel. Check it out, my Avon fragrance wheel. If you are just joining me, I am an online Avon rep. All of my information is below, including the link to order. Avon's also doing a really good 75% off sale now. So if you're looking for some jewelry, check out the sale. Lots of good stuff. I'll put the link below uh, to the 75% off sale. But there's so much good stuff uh, to be had at Avon. Um, these are the shirts I've been wearing. I wore pink one. The, was there a green one? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, now it's driving me crazy. I love this coral one though. This one is absolutely stunning, stunning. I can't believe how much I love these shirts. I think these are coming the next campaign. I got to find out. But the current ones are like sold out. They're so popular. You get a four pack for like 40 bucks. So it's like 10 bucks a shirt. So they're amazing. So right now though, we're going to talk about fragrance. I kind of was teasing out this video for a little while. And um, in my Avon rep catalog, they put a fragrance finder, which I love because what they've done is they've broken down floral, amber, fresh, and woody. And I tend to lean towards amber, probably woody, and then floral. Probably fresh is my least favorite, but there's some on the fresh list that I'm liking. So I don't know. I'm not sure if this list is accurate for me anymore. Um, I love fragrance. You know, if you've been watching me for a long time, how much I love fragrance. I was an Avon girl back in the 80s, 70s, you know, probably late 70s. I remember getting Avon. I'm 53. Uh, from my mom, I loved, you know, Sweet Honesty, like all the fragrances, the classic ones um, growing up. Fragrance has always been a really important part of my life. And then um, I started blogging. I started vlogging in 2019. I joined Avon again. I was so excited. I actually joined in January 2019. And then strange set of circumstances. A lot of you know this about me. Um, in March, I had a breast biopsy and it came back as atypical ductal hyperplasia, which a lot of you know what that is. It's just like abnormal cells. So then I had the lump out. So I had like three surgeries right in a row. I had the lump out. And it was what's called ductal carcinoma in situ, which is DCIS, which is like stage zero breast cancer. But it was really tiny. So they did not like know what to do with me. They're like, do we just do a lumpectomy and radiation? Um, you know, do we just do a mastectomy? Uh, well, I'm someone who's kind of odd. I've had benign breast disease for like my entire life. And what I did is I was like, you know what? I'm just having the mastectomy. I'm having it. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, so I opted for that. And then I actually did not have to go on tamoxifen because it was such a small, low grade um, DCIS. And then probably about a month ago, I found a lump on the same side that I had my mastectomy. I'm like, what the heck? Because it's actually on this side. And um, it turned out to be uh, fat necrosis, which is great. But I was like so nervous about that. Um, but that was about the time I really started to like rely on scent in order to like give me like um it was like it was it was like self help <laughs> it was so relaxing for me during the time i had my mastectomy because i got like an infection and it's kind of i didn't have reconstruction um which is another reason i love these shirts by the way uh because they look great uh cuz i wear a prosthesis prosthesis can't say that word <laughs> prosthesis that's not right <laughs> what is the word mom my brother's looking at me like i'm crazy prosthetic <laughs> oh my gosh you guys um on this side but you really can't tell everyone's like they, they never know um but during that time i was like really relying on fragrance a lot so i am a huge huge proponent of using fragrance to um just give you well-being and happiness and joy. And that was a lot because I had just joined Avon and I just brought like a ton of scents. So I remember I'm in the hospital and I'm like spraying and stuff. And it was really a mood booster. And then after I had my infection, like I would switch off scents. And I remember like 80s music and fragrance were like my two go-tos during that time. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a mental health thing. So that's why I'm passionate about fragrance. I really am. So what I did was I got my little basket of fragrances here and I'm going to match these up. 
on the wheel for you guys. Um, so the first one I have is the belief, uh, the garden. I love this one, by the way. It has got, um, I think it's got the grapefruit in it. What is this one? The um, It's a citrus, no, sparkling citrus, sweet berry, and dewy spring blossoms. I love this one. It doesn't have grapefruit. That's another one. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, so which one is that one? Um, so that's the garden. You know, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought because I have to find these on the scent wheel. And of course, I, ha I need bifocals, you guys. You know what I'm talking about here. It might not even be on here, this one. I'm not sure if they put uh, this one on here. But um, I would call this one... Um, it's like a fresh, earthy scent. I love this one a lot. That's a go-to for me. Okay, so then we have... Avon has got a lot of, like, the rare pearl, the rare diamond. This one is rare amethyst. Uh, this one is mysterious violet, passionate plum, and rich sandalwood. My guess is that's an amber. So let's see. Far away... Um, what did I say this one was? This is harder than I thought. Rare amethyst. Remember, it's like, it's rare amethyst. Why is the rare one not on here? Rare pearls. Oh my gosh, this is so hard, you guys. I didn't think it was going to be that hard to do the wheel. I might just go through these without doing the wheel. What the heck? <laughs> Why is it rare amethyst on here? I'm not finding it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, rare amethyst. I'm two for two. That is so funny. Okay, the haikus. We have the haiku uh, sacred. We have the regular haiku. These are all the intense ones. And then we have haiku Kyoto flower. Am I saying that right? I'm probably botching that again. Um, so the haiku, let me see the haikus. Are they on here? Um, I think I have the haiku on here. Am I just reading it? I can't see. You're right. Okay, I found one. <laughs> this is awesome. So the haiku intense, uh, sacred intense, it's a fruity floral. It's on my wheel. Check it out. I love this. Okay. Oh, rare amethyst is there too. I just can't see you guys. So rare amethyst and haiku sacred intense are both fruity florals. So if you like the fruity floral, you're going to go with these. I love fruity florals. Um, then they have soft florals. I love fruity florals personally. Okay. The regular haiku is called a green floral. So if you like those earthy florals, um, this is under fresh, but it's a green, fresh floral. I'm getting hang of this now. <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, this one is the Kyoto flower. This is also a fresh um, green floral. So there you have it. I wish I could find the garden on here. I don't know. We'll come back to that one. Okay. Next up, we have the Artisan Cherry Vetiver. I love this one. It's super classy. These are a little bit of a unisex. I like the Artisan. Um, let me see what the Artisan is. Is this one on here? My wheel is like, I should have done a little bit more preparing and probably like underlined all of them. Uh, this is what, what did I say? Artisan Cherry Vetiver. This is so funny, you guys. I hope you're having fun with me because I can't see. <laughs> I can't find it. This one's amazing. It smells like cherry. It really is. This one is uh, sweet cherry blends with smooth Haitian vetiver. It's really good though. I love it. It's one of my favorites. That's why I brought out some of my favorites. I'm going to go through the wheel a little bit more and not match them and just talk about them a little bit, but I thought I would do this whole matchy thing and here I failed. Uh, Ginza Stefani. Um, this is gardenia, black currant, and delicate peach. I'm going to call this a fruity floral too. Uh... Let's see that. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it, you guys. Uh, this one is called In My Arms. I found it. <laughs> In My Arms. It's fruity floral. I was right. <laughs> this is fun. I feel like I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> We're giving we need to give away uh give away cars here. <laughs> okay, next up, Amari. Uh, this is Amari Seduction. This one is um, luscious plum, purple orchid, and tantalizing hints of warm vanilla. You know what's interesting? I'm glad I did this because guess what? I am falling everywhere within uh, like a fruity floral. I guess that's like where my um, my yay spot is for fragrance here. Amari, this is Amari Seduction. Let's see, Amari, um, Amari Seduction. 
Okay, it's not a fruity floral. It's actually an amber floral. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Leads a little bit more towards amber. So if you like amber, you're going to like that one. I don't know if Far Away Bally's on here because this one's coming back next time. I'm going to set that one aside. So then we have like your classics, Odyssey. Did they put the classics on here? Like I said, I should have done more research on here. Odyssey, Odyssey. Um, oh yeah, they have Topaz, Odyssey. Okay, soft floral. Odyssey is a soft floral. That makes sense uh, because this is fresh mugget, opulent, ylang ylang, and warm oak moss. I'm going to give fresh floral on that one. I love Odyssey. Odyssey is amazing. Um, timeless. Is Timeless on here? Let me see. So Timeless, Topaz, Odyssey, Dream Life, they're all calling those soft florals. So if you like a soft floral, you're probably going to want to choose uh, one of these fragrances. They're all really good, honestly. Like you, you spray one of these and you are instantly transported back to like junior high. I kid you not. We're sweet honesty. Uh, Night Magic. Oh, Night Magic. I love Night Magic is a woody floral. So if you like woody florals, that is night magic. And then, um, oh, they even have the men's on here. They have wild country. I didn't realize that. Um, let me see. I don't know. I can't find sweet honesty. That's gotta be a floral though. So then we have a lot of the leered. Um, a lot of these are coming back into stock soon. Yay. Uh, this is the Rose de Soleil. Um, I'm not even sure that one's still available right now. Let me look at Leard. Artisan, oh, there's the Artisan Cherry Fetiver. Found it. <laughs> this is so fun. It's like, who's on first? <laughs> Artisan Cherry Vetiver is Amber Floral. It's funny. This is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I hope we're having fun. <laughs> so what did I say? Leard. Okay, I'm going to look for the Leard ones. There's the uh, Leard Santel Musk, which is the green one. Um, that's the kind of the sister to that one. That one is a woody floral. Um, oh, the Oud Rose. Did I put oh, Oud Rose? Oh, I love Oud Rose. This is a favorite of mine. Uh, spicy Saffron, Romantic Rose, and Velvety uh, Patchouli. This one is good. Um, this one is actually a woody floral. I think I like woody floral. I've, de I've decided I like woody floral. Um, and then we have... Coastal Lotus. This one I don't think is still available, but I'm hoping they bring it back for summer. Coastal Lotus is wonderful. Um, oh, so Soft Floral, they have the Bouquet de Frisia. That's the blue bottle. I have that one. Honeysuckle Blossom. I just reviewed that one. That is a Soft Floral, and so is Peony Rose, which is supposed to be coming back soon. So Peony Rose, that's a good one. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, the Far Away Collection. Uh, so Avon Far Away, just the Far Away, uh, that one is an amber floral. Again, I love it. I think I like the amber florals. I like the soft florals and the amber florals. That's good to know. And the woody florals. Mm -hmm. So other amber florals include um, Amari, Amari Seduction, Avon Prima. This is the Avon Noir, Noir. This is also an amber floral too, just to let you know. Um, rare gold, rare gold intense. That is an amber floral. Um, woody floral. I love them all. Night magic. The Imari Amor. Yep. I like these all. The Mesmerize Platinum Ultimate. Uh, let's see. Then they've got Woody Frogier. I'm, I'm totally pronouncing this wrong. Whatever this word is right here. Um, Woody Frogier. Uh, mesmerized black. Oh, these are, these are the men's collections. That makes sense. That really does make sense. So there's like a little section in here for men. Um, citrus. If you want citrus, fresh citrus, those are men's. That's the new Leard Artisan Cannabis Oud and the Leard Sparkling Neroli, which is actually a women's scent. That's actually pretty good too. Um, aromatic, a lot of the men's collection the Black Suede, the Wild Country. So those are going to be fresh aromatic. So a lot of men's scents in the fresh wheel. Okay, other stuff in floral. We have um, the Ginza Stefani. Oh, Live Out Loud. That's a good one. Okay, that one is actually a soft floral. No, Live Out Loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's a fruity floral. Live out, I love Live Out Loud. That makes sense. I love every one of the fruity florals. Rare Amethyst, Live Out Loud, Far Away Bali, it's on here. That's a 
That's fruity floral. I love the fruity florals, you guys. Okay, I learned something about myself. Um, soft floral, dream life, rare polar pearls, odyssey, today, topaz are all in that. Amber, amber florals, your candid, your far away, Amari seduction, Avon prima, rare gold, that is in there. Um, and then your woody scents. So you've got night magic. I, I think I just love everything, you guys, because there's not one scent on here that I don't go, wow, I do like that in some way, shape, or form. Um, I don't know. So the, the, this was actually interesting. So it's hard to read. That's why it's tiny. I was, <laughs> I was struggling there. But, um, oh my gosh, I can say that, honestly, I like probably 80% of the scents that Avon brings out. I feel like there's something for everyone. Got my tea here. So if you're looking for a signature fragrance, my advice is to grab an Avon catalog, read all the descriptions, kind of figure out what you like. Do you like woody floral? Do you like fresh? Because Avon does list that in the catalog, which I love. Like you'll see on there, it'll say fresh and clean. Um, sometimes it's trial and error. Sometimes you might get a scent that you don't love. I usually give those to somebody else. But um, Avon literally has so many scents. And like I said, I'm a huge fan of um, using fragrance as like an aromatherapy, as a mental health booster. I love all my fragrances. I do. I love them so much. So anyway, I hope this was fun. I hope it was helpful. I actually had really a good time hanging out with you guys doing this. Let me know your favorite Avon scents. I'm curious to see what everyone thinks. Uh, don't forget, Far Away Bali is coming back. If you need the link to order, it is below. Uh, shipping is free on 60. And um, tomorrow, tomorrow's the big day because I'm getting my big order tomorrow. I can't wait to share what's in that. Um, and I'm hoping Avon brings some more uh, new fragrances this summer. That'll be good. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.